Greetings students, today we are going to learn about one of UAE's leading aviation company. Most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company Etihad Airways. Let us know this company in a much better way. Etihad Airways is the flag carrier of the United Arab Emirates. Established by Royal Decree in July 2003 and based in Abu Dhabi, Etihad commenced operations in November 2003. The name derives from the Arabic word for union. The airline operates more than 1,300 flights per week to 86 passenger and cargo destinations in the Middle East, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia and the Americas with a fleet of 72 Airbus and Boeing aircraft. In 2012, Etihad carried 10.3 million passengers, a 23% increase on the previous year, delivering revenues of 4.8 billion US dollars and net profits of 42 million US dollars. Etihad Airways is the fourth largest airline in the Middle East and it is the second largest airline in the United Arab Emirates after the Dubai-based airline Emirates. In addition to its core activity of passenger transportation, Etihad also operates Etihad Holidays and Etihad Cargo. The airline is based at Abu Dhabi International Airport and its head office is in Khalifa City, A. Abu Dhabi. Etihad reported its first full-year net profit in 2011 of 14 million US dollars in line with the strategic plan announced by CEO James Hogan in 2006. In December 2011, Etihad announced it had taken a 29.21% stake in Air Berlin, Europe's sixth largest airline, and James Hogan was appointed vice chairman. It followed this up with minority stakes in other airlines, Air Seychelles 40%, Air Lingus 2.987%, Virgin Australia 10%. Also, Etihad is close to acquiring 24% stake in Indian carrier Jet Airways. On August 1, 2013, President of the company James Hogan signed a deal with Alexander Vucic, first Deputy Prime Minister of Serbia in Belgrade, giving Etihad a 49% stake in Serbian national carrier JAT Airways. The Serbian government retains 51% of the shares. Among numerous terms of the deal, a complete rebranding of JAT Airways is planned, including the name change. The new company is named Air Serbia.
Etihad Airways was established as the flag carrier of the United Arab Emirates in July 2003 by Royal Amiri Decree issued by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. It started with an initial paid up capital of AED 500 million. Services were launched with a ceremonial flight to Al Ain on 5th November 2003. On 12th November 2003, Etihad commenced commercial operations with the launch of services to Beirut and has gone on to become the fastest growing airline in the history of commercial aviation. In June 2004, the airline made an 8 billion US dollar aircraft order for five Boeing 777-300ERs and 24 Airbus aircraft, including four A380-800s. The airline announced what was the largest aircraft order in commercial aviation history at the Farnborough Air Show in 2008 for up to 205 aircraft, 100 firm orders, 55 options, and 50 purchase rights. As of February 2013, the airline operates passenger and cargo services to 86 destinations around the world from its home base in Abu Dhabi. In 2012, Etihad carried 10.3 million passengers a 23% increase on the previous year. Etihad has its head office led by Kamran Ali in Khalifa City A, Abu Dhabi, near Abu Dhabi International Airport. Etihad spent 183.6 million UAE dirhams, 50 million USD in 2007 to arrange to have its new head office and training center built. The new head office was scheduled to be finished by the end of 2007. Etihad is governed by a board of directors chaired by H.H. H. Sheikh Hamid bin Zayed Al Nahyan, H.H. H. Sheikh Khalid bin Zayed Al Nahyan being the vice chairman and operates in terms of its founding legislation and the article of association of the company. The board consists of seven independent non-executive members and has two subcommittees, being an executive committee and an audit committee, each with its own charter and chairman. Etihad Airways has received over 30 awards since its inauguration in 2003. It has won the World Travel Awards WTA designation for having the best business class in the world in 2009. In November 2009, Etihad Airways won the world's leading airline award at the World Travel Awards in London. In 2010, Etihad Airways won the world's best first class award by Skytrax at Hamburg. Etihad also received awards for Best First Class Catering and Best First Class Seat as well. Etihad was awarded the world's leading airline in 2009, 2010, 2011 and 2012 by the World Travel Awards. In 2013, Etihad Airways received all three awards in the first class category at the 2013 Skytrax World Airline Awards. Best First Class, Best First Class Seats and Best First Class Catering, 34. It also received the 2013 Travel Plus Airline Amenity Bag Award in the First Class Mail category. The deal structure between Jet Airways and Etihad Airways has once again come under criticism from proxy advisory firms with Stakeholders Empowerment Services SES, saying that the Indian Aviation Majors proposed amendments to the Articles of Association suffer from a lot of governance issues. According to SES, some of the proposed changes would give special privilege rights to Etihad and also lead to a scenario 
wherein all shareholders would not get equitable rights. The advisory firm has asked shareholders to vote against the resolution at the EGM scheduled on May 24. The company is adopting a new set of articles of association but has not identified the changes made in the articles. This makes the disclosure totally ineffective unless a shareholder compares previous set of articles and proposed articles line by line. Therefore, SES believes that the disclosures made by the company are not transparent, says the report. In April, JET approved a decision to allot 2.73 crore shares on a preferential basis to Etihad for around 2,060 crore rupees. After the allotment, Etihad will hold 24% stake in JET, while promoters will have 60.80% stake. The deal values JET at nearly rupees 8,500 crore. SES, which is headed by J.N. Gupta, a former executive director of SEBI, says that the proposed amendments restrict the rights of the promoters to sell, transfer shares without the written consent from Etihad. Although this does not affect rights of other shareholder, it reflects additional rights to Etihad, it says. So students, we got to know about the various aspects of Etihad Airways. Hope you must have got useful information about the company. Have a nice day. Goodbye.